Audio Jungle. I-5 bridge right there. Interstate 5, crossing over the Columbia River. Separating Oregon State and Washington State. I'm on the Washington side, looking south to the Oregon, state of Oregon. Washington... Oregon, USA. All right, this uh, check it out further. Vancouver, Washington, USA. COVID-19, uh, 2020. Continues. Or, could this be world of things to come. Has the uh, rule book changed? COVID-19, 2020. Global pandemic.
beautiful looking uh, moon this early morning. COVID-19 2020, Vancouver, Washington. Looks to be the start of another beautiful day. Clear, a little bit chilly this morning, but um, you could feel that it's uh, going to be a pretty clear, beautiful day. As does the weather forecast show. Back in downtown Vancouver, like city center. Buddy came to see me right there. Oh, he took, oh, there he is. The 
patrol boat, I believe. Just went by. Little Jaybird Betty. Could be my friend Jaybird Coder. Well known um, guitarist from the Northwest. Yeah, maybe that is Jaybird Coder. Okay, here we are. We're back at the uh, <clears throat> the new waterfront here in Vancouver, Washington, USA. Right down on the boardwalk. A few steps, a few steps up. But that's the uh, Columbia River. Some uh, restaurants and I believe um, office buildings and I believe apartments. Just down, uh, down a ways there. I-5 bridge crossing the uh, Columbia River. Some memorabilia. Looks like uh, that's um, in honor of Dwayne D. Wilson. That one right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, Dwayne D. Wilson. Have to look that one up. Not only for me, but for you guys.
All right, guys, Vancouver waterfront. You're at the Columbia River. Vancouver, Washington, USA. Out and about uh, enjoying the weather. Appears to be quite a few other folks with the same idea. Um, it was interesting, I, as I was walking in, even though a group of folks were uh, walking their dogs, a few of them appeared to be together, but uh, they were they were spaced out, spaced apart. What I thought, uh, which I thought was pretty cool. Uh, it's just it has be uh, is now embedded into our psyche to have the uh, social distancing. Um, they say me, um, me, <laughs> not me. Uh, this may even continue into next year or even further to uh, until we have full, full testing and vaccination. Um, curtailing the spread of the virus by practicing a very simple yet powerful tool called uh, social distancing. But there's still a few of us that just just gotta get out. I'm one of them. Just such a beautiful day today. Has been for the last week or more. beautiful Columbia River at uh, Vancouver's w new waterfront. See a couple of little rocks down there. I want to get, get out there and get my feet in the feet in the water. I haven't heard anything about boating or, or swimming this spring. I imagine that's still um, a precaution. Minimizing those activities out in um, areas of uh, public occupation, centers, parks. water skiing I know um, a few weeks ago they actually it was just maybe a week or more the folks down in Florida spring break folks blowing off some steam after their midterms decided to screw it we're going to go out and about and I know if if they survive that social ridicule, yeah, let's go over. Let's check out that until it looks like a ship. It's cool. All right, guys, we'll be back. We're almost ready to go, guys. Over, we're gonna head over to the the end of that little balcony that overlooks the uh, overhangs the river. But uh, just looking at this architecture, it's just so cool. I don't know if you guys can see that in the light. Just the lines and how they intersect with other shapes and directions. It's just so cool looking. The way it plays off of the river and nature, an old um, railroad bridge there off to the west, just looks awesome with the shapes of the, the building's architecture. It's 
definitely in, inviting. How open it is. Lots of places to catch a good view, to have a seat. And relax and chat. Or even film. Usually this place is running pretty well. You know, outside of the uh, COVID-19 um, restaurants are usually full. Outside dining usually have uh, has occupants. A lot of activity. Just folks walking around and enjoying their new surroundings and their new neighborhood for the folks that live here. And... Um, for the folks that don't, it's just uh, the other neighborhood across town. It looks like they have a uh, some type of a restaurant open over there. That's kind of cool. I'll have to go over and check them out and see what's going on. There we go. This is pretty cool. It's like a... It looks like a... I don't know what they call it. I'll have to look it up. But the uh, the pole that's in the ship <laughs> that has the the sails on it, the mast. Huh. I believe that's it. Yes, but it's got the uh, this pretty cool mast coming out of the. Good, okay, I thought it's not recording. Um, pretty cool mast coming out of the the, the uh, deck here and uh, points off right here as if it's the bow in front of the ship. Nice waterway. There's the north side of Port of Vancouver. Not sure if you guys can see it, but if you look a little further, you see the the communications towers. Right there is where they have most of the loading and unloading docks for all the ships. I believe it uh, also a train for the rail. Pretty. Uh, Gorgeous layout out here in the new Fort Vancouver, or excuse me, Waterfront Vancouver. Yeah, let's go check out that restaurant over there. All right, we'll be right back.
waterfront way. First street uh, just north in parallel, parallel of the waterfront and boardwalk. First street with the uh, traffic lights controlled for vehicles and pedestrians. Let's head back to uh, Vancouver Center. All right, guys, we'll be right back. There's another, more, another train. All right, news collector daily. I'm back. Uh, yeah, we were over there, that uh, corner building. That's the where the restaurants and the boardwalk and the uh, that uh, balcony type overhang over the river, the uh, Columbia River down here in Vancouver, Washington, USA. And heading heading back into. Looking good, guys. Beautiful weather today. Uh, okay, we'll be back. Farmer's Market. 